today we are reading a book called Red Planet. You see this dog. It's dead. William came to play with Chip. They found old things in the garden and made a rocket. The rocket looked quite good. William and Chip played in the rocket. They pretended to be spacemen. The rocket is going to take off, said William. Five, four, three, two. Floppy ran to the rocket. He wanted to get in the rocket with William and Chip. Go away, Floppy, shouted Chip. The rocket is going to take off. Nick came to play. He had his computer, but he liked the rocket. He wanted to play in it too. It began to rain. We can't all get in the rocket, said Chip. Let's go inside and play with Nick's computer. They played a game on the computer. This game is called Red Planet, said Nick. Let's land the rocket on the planet. Nick tried and landed the rocket. He was good. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. Come on shouted Chip. We're going on a magic adventure with Chip and William and Nick ran into Biff's room. The magic took them to a rocket. It took Fluffy too. Look, the rocket is going to take off. But the door is open, said Nick. Let's look inside. Come on, he shouted. Chip and William did not want to go inside. It's dangerous, said Chip. Don't worry, said Nick. This is a magic adventure. They went inside the rocket. There was nobody inside. Look at this computer, said Nick. Floppy jumped on, jumped up and put his paw on a button. Five, four, three, two, one. The rocket began to take off. It went into the sky and into space. Oh no, said Chip. We are, where are we going? They began to float inside the rocket. Nick found some boots and put them on. Put these boots, boots on, he said. They'll stop us floating. They went to the window and looked out. They saw a big red planet. We were Going to that planet, said Nick. We'll be there soon. Nick landed the rocket carefully. That was very good, Nick. You really 
know about computers, said William. There was red sand, red rockets, rocks, and red mountains on the planet. Floppy did not like the red planet. He began to bark and bark. They wanted to go outside and look at the planet. They found a space car. They looked in the boxes and found some space suits. Let's put on these space suits and go outside, said William. Is it safe outside? Asked Chip. I don't know, said William. They went outside in the space car. It went up and down over the rocks. And the red sand flew up. Floppy did not like it. He did not like space adventures. Suddenly, the ground cracked. Oh, help, shouted Chip, William, and Nick. The space car fell into a big hole. They fell down and down inside the planet. Floppy did not like it. He wanted to go home. Crash, the space car landed and broke into pieces. Bump, they all landed beside the space car. There were inside a big cave. What a place, said William. Chip looked at the space car. It's broken, he said. How will we get back to the rocket, asked William. Fluffy began to bark. There were some strange little people in the cave. Oh no, said Nick. Look at them. The strange little people looked at the boy. They climbed on the broken Space car and pulled out a space suit. One of them turned on a tap on Floppy's space suit. Floppy's space suit began to fill with air. The space suit go got bigger and bigger floppy began to float get floppy shouted chip he's floating away How do we get out of the cave? William asked the strange little people. There's no way out, 
they said. We can't help. William had a good idea. He took out a spacesuit and filled it with air. The spacesuit got bigger and bigger. It began to float up and up. Float on, shouted William. The spacesuit floated out of the cave. We can float back to the rocket, said Chip. What a good idea, said Nick. They floated back to the rocket. William let the air out of the spacesuit and came down to the ground. That was very good, William, said Nick. They went inside the rocket and took off. Nick turned on the computer. We'll be home soon, he said. The magic key began to glow. Floppy was happy. He did not want to want the boy to land on land the rocket again. He did not like space adventures. The magic took them back home. I like that adventure, said William. He looked at the little spacesuit. I like that adventure too, said Nick. Thank you.